Good morning. Um, I've been getting ready for work and Good morning. I'm all ready for work. I did this makeup look and I have on my new t-shirt and I wanted to share my outfit of the day. I'm going over here in the corner, do a little, do a little uh, posing because I'm a poser and uh, I'll come back and sit down and talk to you about it. These are buckle jeans. I got them at Buckle. I, I think they're a uh, boyfriend cut. I had to size down. I ended up having to order a pair. Anyway, they came real quick. Their, their dealio works well. I don't, you have to go pick it up at the store though when they special order it for you. They don't send it to your house, which is kind of inconvenient. Anyway, this is my Lauren Moshi Mashi t-shirt that I did the unboxing for you the other day. They send it, in, in case you didn't see that, uh, it came in the mailer box and then the receipt came in this cute <clears throat> receipt holder and it was in a plastic bag and the tag was pinned to it. And the shirt itself inside the plastic bag was in this nice magnetic box. It's really over the top, right? So that's my, so jeans, it's a American Eagle belt. The shirt, like I said, is for Lauren Moshi. It's, Got a little, it's like Swiss cheese. It's got little holes all over it. I'll show you the back. These jeans are probably not real flattering since they're a boy cut, so they probably make my butt look flat. But I thought it was kind of fest, kind of festival looking, so I'm wearing them. My shoes are Dolce Vita. I didn't get them this year, and I don't think I got them. They're wedges. I don't think I got them last year either. These shoes are Dolce Vita. They're, I don't know. I don't know how many years old they are. They're a wedge. They're, um, they're a wedge. They're not real comfortable. They cut across my toe, across my big toe. They're an open toe wedge. But I'm gonna be sitting at a desk all day today, so they'll probably be fine. Uh, my, Pedicure is white. It's time. My pedicure is white. It's probably time to do a, a new pedicure. And my nails. I'll show you my nails. My nails are still the stunner with over the top of white on white by China Glaze Stunners by Revlon. All right, I'm going to get in the car. Oh, I always have on my blue crystals today. Blue crystals, tanzanite, and black diamond. I'm going to get in the car so I can go get um, get to work. I like to be the early bird gets the worm, right? Ta -da. Good morning. I'm going to work. Um, you already saw this t-shirt in the previous clip. This is a little army sh shirt. It's real lightweight. Uh, it does not button though. The buttonholes are too small for the buttons. It's not meant to button, I don't think. I'll put the links for everything in the description box. I can't seem to get a good focus on those nails. Anyway, I'm still enjoying them. They, they're lasting. I haven't had a problem with chipping this time. I don't know what I did different, but anyway. All right, let's go and I'll tell you about my makeup. All right, let's go. Today I have on 
the Tatcha primer. I went back and revisited that. I think it looks good. Still well pleased with that. Uh, like I said before, I had some, I've had some questions about how to use the Tatcha primer that other people aren't having much luck with. Some are not having much luck with it. I think like one of the number one tips I can give you for that is not to over not to use too much. I use about a piece I, I'll show you in another video how much I use. The the line on the coin, you're supposed to scrape it across the product and scrape up enough product that it reaches the line on the coin. That's too much. Use like a fourth of that or even less. And I only use it through the center of my face. Oh, thank you. I use it through the center of my face. Thank you. Where my pores are probably the most evident. Then what kind of foundation did I use? Oh, I used the Dior Forever foundation. I'll put the link, a picture of it in the exact color and all. I, I think that's what it is. Dior Skin Forever, I think. I don't know, I don't use it very often. The color worked out fine today. Uh, when I first purchased it, it didn't work. I hope it's still available. I'm, I'm, I seem to be on a, a trend where nothing that I use is available. Let's see, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away as my eyeshadow primer, and I used a D Dior Quint, or Design 5 rosy something and I think it's discontinued I bet I've had that thing five years rosy quartz maybe I don't know anyway I'll put the name of it here I'll look for it and see if I, I just was in the mood for that today there's what it looks like I am wearing my Thank you, Ruth, for correcting me. Uh, it's when, when I say things that are funny, well, sometimes I do it on purpose. But if I repeatedly say the name of something that's wrong, it's because I've read it without glasses, and that's what it looked like without glasses. It's for real, though. For real, though, is the question. It's a question. It's the name of the lashes. For real, though? Oh, somebody hit a turtle. It was a look like a big snack. Look like a cooter. Those those usually have snarly attitudes. A cooter is what we call a snapping turtle here in the in the South Carolina region. I think just in the Carolinas in general, because Pat has heard the term cooter also. Not to be confused with. Well, anyway. Okay, back to the, uh, my liner on top is a oldie but a goodie. It's MAC Black Track Gel Liner, and I used my Crooked Brush, Crooked Liner Brush from my Tarte Clay Paint set that I got from Tarte at Ulta. What, I have my Essence Mascara on the bottom lashes. They didn't, it didn't wow me today. It's the essence with the curvy container and has the green decor on it. I did not use the uh, primer, the lash primer. That could be the issue. Somebody in my comments said they loved the Laura Mercier ritual. So that inspired me to revisit the ritual. I had been using my Clinique Sunkissed bronzer over and over and over again. So now I'm back to the ritual by Laura Mercier. That's in my that's in my perimeters. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek blush in Love is the Drug. I used pop here. Kind of like a swish, like a Nike swish. And then used the swish part up here on my cheekbones. 
Maybelline Instant Age Rewind underneath my eyes and I set it with, I don't know, I think I set it with the Prep and Prime translucent powder or transparent powder from MAC. Set the rest of my face with the Char Charlotte, with the Charlotte, Charlotte Tillsberries. Let's call it the wrong thing. Let's let's call it something wrong. How about Charlotte Tilbury? What was it? oh the airbrush flawless compact powder, and I used a big fluffy Sigma powder brush for that. The one that starts with F for face. I used all my Sigma brushes to apply my eyeshadows today. I'm getting reacquainted with them. They've been living in my they've been living in my kit and I did not bring them out of my kit because they were no longer pretty enough to be in the kit. I brought them out of my kit to use at my vanity so that I could revisit each one and use them in my everyday day-to-day application of my makeup to see which ones that are really loved really really loved what I really want what I really really want in order to play it so that I can place an order to Sigma for some backup brushes I'm getting busier and busier and it'd be nice to have backup sets of brushes so that I don't have to wash brushes when I come home exhausted from my makeup, from a wedding. I used my Sigma brushes again. I really like their pencil brush. It's very, very utilitarian. Oh, it always has a bad connota connotation, right? Utilitarian. Uh, what else did I use? Originally, I used the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Pencil and the MAC Powder Kiss Scattered Petals on my lips, and then I went and brushed my teeth and took my vitamins, so I had to drink some, you know. And I wanted to bump up the, bump up the volume bump up the pop of color. Give me a pop of color on my lips. And this is another Powdered Kiss lipstick by MAC, but I don't use it very often, so I'm not, I can't tell you the name right off the top of my head, but I'll put it right here, and I'll also put it in the description box. Somebody commented that Pat's skin was looking really good. I would say that is the results of uh, a new supplement we're taking. If you care, a lot of you don't like, or I get a, I get some of you, some of you, I get defensive comments when I start talking about health and exercise and supplements. So if you are interested in what I have put pat on in regards to supplements for just what else, what's good for you. It's just good for you. It's just an overall good for you supplement. If you're interested in that, leave that in the comments and I'll discuss that in an upcoming car vlog. My hair today is, uh, see my hair is really dirty. Today is Tuesday and I washed it on maybe Wednesday. Wow! Has it been that long since I've washed it? When did I go to the beauty parlor? I think it was Wednesday. So it's been a week. And I've been to the gym and... You know you're old when you can go that long without washing your hair. You're too old to even make hair stink, right? Yeah, the third was the last time I washed my hair. And today is what the... Ninth. I braided the sides and pinned them in a crown in the back and pulled up pulled up my 
crown right here. I should have I should have put some back combing right there, so I'd have a little. So my my head's real flat right here, and my hair's a little thin right there, right there in the where some people have a cowlick or grows in the circle. It's a little thin right there. My dad was completely bald right there. Don't know. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. But anywho. And then I put some some waves. There's uh, some IG, IGK. Is that what it? Uh, Pre-party spray. I don't know. Anyway, so I have some glitters in my hair. The outfit. The t-shirt. The the. I think it's Bess Hippie Skull is the name of this. Anyway, it gave me festival vibes. So I put, I did a festival hairdo and some glitter spray. I know. I just, just went in my room and played this morning. Why, so why did I go back and pick the Dior shadow palette? I guess I wanted something that looked kind of warm and earthy. I got festival festival vibes from that palette when I opened and opened it and looked at it. I have vitamin indigestion. First, I used Fake Awake on my the rims of my eyes, the waterline, and then. I didn't like the way it looked with this eyeshadow look. So I went back with Matte Costa Riche and put that on my waterline. Still loving these lashes. They're really easy to apply. For real though is a good name. I think, that, I don't know, I still haven't studied the website to find out if these are silk or not. Pretty, they were pro to me they were kind of pricey not as pricey as the mink ones but pricey like maybe $26 and I was trying to figure that out so let's say I have a pack of Ardell Demi Wispies and I pay about I think at Sally's I may pay $19 for five pairs so it's they're less than four dollars a pair right three fifty three twenty five a piece and I can wear each I don't know how many times I can wear those because I never take care of them I always put them on my bedside table and then they get fuzzy but let's say conservatively that you could wear a pair you could get three wearings out of each pair of Ardell lashes so that's and there's five pairs in there so that's 15 wearings for not that's still cheaper if you only wear them three times 15 wearings out of a pack of five Ardell's opposed to 20 wearings with a pair of Velour Effortless Lashes. And conceivably, you could wear the Ardell Lashes five times a pair a week. You know, business week. <laughs> But we don't know how long I can actually get, how many wearings I can actually get out of the velour. Hashtag living, hashtag living in lashes. They have a campaign. They're running a campaign and you're supposed to take pictures of your lashes with hashtag living in lashes. I wore mine to the gym the other day and they didn't pop up. I don't know whether that's... I can contribute some of that to the lashes themselves because they're very curved. They're very good for people with very curved lids. 
because those lashes that sh that come and they're like almost straight across, they do go boing. They they try to go you glue them, and then they pop up. Pop up if you look at them wrong. So what are we watching? Oh, so we watched American Idol last night. So I think they showed the bet. I don't know. It was a little more boring last night than Sunday night. Monday night was less entertaining. I, I, I would say Monday night, American Idol, elimination, the whole show was a little less entertaining than the Sunday night one. Pat's favorite from Monday night is the one that sang the Post Malone song the first time. I don't know where he's from. He, he's... I said it over and over again so I could remember it. It starts with an A. His first and his last name start with an A. And he plays the guitar, and I think he's Latin American. Anyway, he's... I don't know. He may win the whole thing. His singing and his... His musical abilities just give me chills. And you know, what was her name? J-Lo used to say that the ones that gave her goosebumps, that was kind of how she determined that their level of expertise, how, how, and, and he does, he gives me goosebumps. He was really, he was really good. The girl that did the Wicked, is it Wicked Love? He, she did the duet with the the very person that wrote the song or performs the song. The, the song belongs to. She did his song for... God, I can't remember his name either. That's okay. My head is full of uh, names and brands of hair and makeup products. There's not any room for people names. Isaac, yeah, she's really good. 